Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's iPod King Carter here, the Superman to YouTube. This was my first player of the game. Um, I was versus in Detroit. Um, I'm sorry I didn't record the gameplay. Um, I didn't feel as though, you know, playing against Detroit was actually going to be all that great. Seeing as though Brandon Knight really didn't get that many minutes. But to tell you the truth, I destroyed Detroit. That's the reason why I'm getting a player of the game. That's the reason why I was getting all these open shots. These are the reason why I was draining them. This is the reason why I was getting to the rim with ease. But to me, I'm sorry. It's, it's not my fault. I didn't record the gameplay, but I do got the pre the post game conference for y'all. Also, we got the the game that you all want to see me against Derek Williams, Minnesota Timberwolves, Kevin Love in them. All right, y'all. The team really had to earn that win tonight. How did it feel there at the end with the outcome still in question? I was feeling confident the entire way. I knew that if they got close enough, I'd just drop another dagger on them. These are the kind of situations I thrive in, man. But we sucked it up and got it done. I didn't even have to hit the buzzer beater like I'm sure many of you were hoping I would. There'll be plenty of chances for that moving forward. For now, man, we'll just take the win. Man, wasn't that a long behind post-game conference? But check this out, man. It's the start of the Minnesota game, and as soon as I get the ball, first touch, you know I had to get to the rim. Michael Beasley will not be able to tie my shoes this game. This dude is like 6'9", 6'10", trying to play small forward. You're not Kevin Durant. You're not LeBron. Just take the L with ease. You know what I'm saying? As I just threw that assist, you know, I'm doing my thing on both sides of the ball right now. I'm trying to fill the stat sheet. You know, that's the best thing I can come up with when playing my player. You know, being a small forward, being able to fill the stat sheet is no problem because I'm already close to the rim to grab rebounds. When I post up, everybody cuts. So, you know, it's, oh, my Lord. <sighs> Hold on. Pause. Moment of silence. Goddamn JaVale McGee, boy. That dude right there on my player mode, he's one of the best centers in the game, period. Point blank. He do all the cleanup work. He gets you buckets. All of that, man. I don't know. I don't know what to say about him, but I, I love working with him. Um, also, when playing this my player mode, it was kind of easy for me to, you know, steal the ball. It was easy for me to block shots. For some reason, I just was feeling real athletic this game, but you already know I'm on the break. But check this out. Ah, goodness. Woof. Did you see the, you ain't see the under the rim joint. Hold on, replay. Replay. You know I had to show it again. Come on, man. They ain't want to give me my slam cam. I'm going to make a slam cam. <laughs> That's all. All right, as I do my offensive objective, I'm trying to, you know, set screens, do all that. But I need the ball in my hands. I only got six points. I don't. I need to have ten points right now, you know. So I'm going to just, you know, try to take over the game, let it play out, see what happens. And, of course, you already know they're trying to ice me out. But guess what I do? Mm. Come on, man. With the clock winding down, reverse jam? Are you serious? Yo, Michael Beasley cannot tie my shoes. Dude, do need to cut the dreads off, man. It must be weighing them down. That, that got to be it. It got to be the dreads. I don't know, man. It is what it is. But check me out, you know. I'm, I'm about to steal the ball real quick and shoot another jumper. Just, just in case you must have forgot, I do have a jumper. Sometimes, you know, 2K does hurt everyone with messing up their jumpers. People are not able to, you know... I guess have a great field goal percentage because everybody that shoots jumpers always say, hey, iPod, I got like 90 consistency. I got a 90 mid-range, 93, and I shoot like 25% from the field. I'm sorry to hear that. You know, um, it's, it's nothing that I can do to help you. It's nothing that 2K can do to help you because obviously the patch that they came out with didn't fix anything. You know, we still have some of the same problems, but I've learned to get over that. You know, it's it's bigger problems in the game. Just like just like that, stuff like that. Look at the replay. Look how I easily get past him, and he can't shuffle his feet. That's the problems in 2K. When somebody blows by you, you're able to blow by them as well. It's just you know you gotta find your niche. That's all it is about 2K12. Like you gotta find your niche. You gotta figure out what you can do to get past your defender. Get your defender off ease. You know, you know what I'm saying just like things like that as well. Pass out your shots. 
Because I'm telling you now, if you try to simple pick and roll and you try to throw it, it's getting picked off easy. Like they're going going right down the other side of the court. Somebody gonna end up dunking on somebody. Like look at that. So easy. Look how close I get to one defender. And check it out. As soon as he cuts, easy pass. You know, you can't do pick and rolls anymore, so you gotta figure out other ways to get assists. You gotta figure out other ways to get to the rim. It's very easy, you guys, but before we get into the halftime, you already know what I'm gonna do. You wanna test me? <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> Did you see the layup? Yo, I wish they would I wish they would replay layup sometimes. Like, I just literally jabs that pump fake dude. He flew to the half court line. <laughs> but it is what it is, man. All right, we in the third quarter. I'm going up against D. Will. Come on, D. Will. Yo, are you serious? You that flat footed, cuz? You can't. You can't guard me. <laughs> like it's cool. Look at me trying to take the charge. Yo, I ain't gonna lie, but I be trying to play some awesome defense, man. But it is what it is. Ah, who? I thought I almost got burnt on that play. Oh, we out. Come on, easy pickings. Uh oh, McGee, check him out. Coast to coast. Come on, what big man you know run the floor like that? Be serious, y'all. Look at that. Look at that extension. God. <sighs> Yo, I ain't going to lie, y'all. I am not going to request a trade. Everybody thought that the next video in my series was going to be me asking for a trade to Philly. You guys thought wrong. I'm staying in Washington. I love it here. I got JaVel McGee. I got John Wall to get to the rim just in case I mess up. You know, it's a it's a win-win situation. You know, look at the score right now. Come on. You can tell by the score how good we're doing. Come on, be serious, guys. Now check me out. Look at look at what I do. Check this out. Easy, easy little back down. Look at the cutter. Look at the cutter. Come on, it's e it's easy. It may be an exploit. Some people might say, "Hey man, come on, you're taking advantage of the game." No, this is what they made and built into the game. So of course, to get a system, I'm gonna use with what I know. That's that's just simple. That's just simple to me. Oh come on, J Wall. <laughs> Jay Wall, all that. I ain't even gonna lie. Check this out, though. Ah, easy layup. All the way, coast to coast, to the rim. That's what I'm talking about. You see, you see him in the crowd. Woo, we doing it up right now, man. Washington really nice. I ain't gonna lie. Like, in real life, they, you know, they, they need a little bit more help. But on the game, they all that. I ain't gonna lie. Like, check, check Jay Wall hit me. Check him out hit me. Woo. Come on, you want to test my – come on, are you serious? Like, I'm st I'm still not that good for guys to actually want to come and play defense on me. That's how crazy it is. Like, I like being the person that they don't want to play D on. Like, check this out. This is what we do all day. Hold on, no no slam cam? No slam cam? I provide a replay. <laughs> but, yo, also, I got I got something that, you know, a lot of people might not think would have happened this game. If you look at my, my output – you will know why the fans did this for me in this next clip. I'm just keeping it 100 with y'all. Real talk. Check this out. He's off on the first. They're really doing a good job working hard to get inside and draw contact. A little more so than they did in the first half. Well, to keep a lead like this, they should continue to... And the second free throw, good. NBA legend Rick Barry wrote that he thinks the players today are much better ball handlers than in his era. All right, you guys might all be thinking, oh, my God, oh, my God. IKC, they call it MVP, oh, my God. Listen, when you put out crazy outputs and you got the fan support on 2K, it's easy for the fans to just shout out MVP, MVP. Yo, I swear, sometimes, yo, I want to play on pro just to hear how long they say that. Y'all want to record that one time. Just hear them saying that for 30 seconds? Just MVP, just snapping out. But uh, we get the win real easy. I, I had a great game. We went up against, you know, a so-so team. I just wanted to show the matchup of, you know, rookie to rookie, me versus Williams. He really didn't have that many plays. He had maybe an offensive three seconds, you know, a few... Uh, a few layups on a fast break. I ain't going to lie about that, but peace.
You were really showcasing your passing skills out there tonight, getting double digit assists for the first time in your career. What was your game plan going in that led to your setting up your teammates so well? You know, I feel like I can score at will, but it really takes a special kind of player to be able to get his teammates to score at will too. I was hitting guys right in the hands all night long and it was so nice to see them converting, so nice.